All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Yeah, duh. It's so like video -ness and whatnot, and we're not gonna say the T word because that's strictly forbidden. Anyways, don't you like my wallpaper? It is awesome. And we're getting way off topic. All right, basically today we're gonna be teaching you how to make a little water mortar thingy. Um, on the side, or you could put it technically anywhere in your videos using iMovie and another piece of free software to actually make the transparent thingy. If you're wondering how it kind of looks, um, basically when people uh, don't watch my videos and they download I Show You HD and they have that mark the watermark right here yeah well that type of thing or this thing right here that says like the macify so yeah let's get into this first off you need a program called seashore gimp or photoshop i have gimp and seashore um i personally like seashore better because it's more sleek and it runs much faster um you can download seashore at seashore.sourceforge.net slash the c slash sorry slash the underscore seashore underscore project slash about dot html i'll have a link in the fra fra um fra fra we mean description so you can download it straight from the website and it's completely free and yeah forget about that all right so we're gonna open up seashore and we're gonna check off first transparent background we're gonna press create okay so one of the weird things about seashore is it does not let you choose the color for the text after you put in the text seashore is a quite weird program so we're gonna go to this colored box thingy right here on this side and you click it all right it's gonna bring up the colors now you can create a transparent color like it's kind of like transparent and whatnot. So you bring down the opacity a little. Then we're gonna fiddle with that. All right, I think that's pretty darn good. Okay, so now it has registered that that is gonna be our color. So we're gonna go over to this handy dandy text tool. We're gonna click on it and you can do change font. Um, you can actually do that after, I think. Um, but I'm using Feast of Flesh, baby! The Macified Official Font. And the Angry Birds Font, but that's besides the point. So you're basically gonna click, alright, and this thing's gonna come up on top, and I'm gonna type in the Macified. Add. Alright, now it is quite light, but that's okay. Okay, so now you notice it's not centered well don't click that could work too but we don't recommend it be only because I don't know sometimes it cuts off the text so what you're gonna do is use your arrow keys so basically you're gonna bring that down a notch to the left I mean yeah the right wow I am so off today all right a little more there a little more there let's speed that up <laughs> All right, it's centered. Um, just, I keep on forgetting. Make sure the background is transparent. And if you do not click that thing off in the beginning, just restart. Sorry. But that was kind of your fault. I'm still centering it. I'm such a freak. All right, so now you're going to go to File and Export. Now, the thing is... You want to export it as a PNG to keep the transparencies so iMovie will recognize it. So you're going to press Portable Network Graphics Image. Um, don't ask me why they use that, but okay. All right, we're gonna, now we're going to write Macified Watermark. All right, so we've got Macified Watermark. And it is going to be saved as a PNG. Make sure that's checked off. Yeah, okay, because Tiff never tried it. Jim never tried it um but jpeg and everything else i really do not think will work and i've never heard of it working and i've tried it and it doesn't work even if you select safe transparencies that's all garbage you need to save it as a png so here's a little tip if you're looking for some photos on google images um type in the name of that type of photo and then the then png after it and it'll actually look for some with 
transparencies. All right, so we're gonna press save. And then we'll X out of that. I already have that saved. And now it is right here. A magnified watermark too. So if you press the space bar, it brings that up. And you see there's no white. A reminder, this will work with any logo with transparencies. Um, Just render it as a PNG. And when you're making it, make sure the background is transparent. doesn't matter what software you use. I just like Seashore, and I think it's so awesome. So we're going to have that far to the right, because that'll probably be the easiest. All right, so now we're going to open up iMovie, and we've got some footage from last tutorial. And guys, remember the Boyd? If you watched it. Anyways, oh, shoot, I said tutorial. Ah! Shoot it. Yeah. Professional screw-up. Only professionals screw up like this. So yeah, we professionally screw up, only on the magnified. In order for this to work, you're gonna need to do this. Um, if you do not do this, it won't work and you'll suck. So you're gonna go to iMovie Preferences and make sure Show Advanced Tools is checked off. Now I'm just telling you, I'm running, I'm running a version of iMovie pretty much on steroids. Um, I've made the timeline down here and it go on forever. Um, instead of piling up on top of each other, like this. And I've put the thing where you get all the videos from on top. Um, I'm gonna do a video like that. I'm gonna do a video on how to do it, but if you wanna do it right now, just check out, um, Matt's Macintosh. So, yeah. Alright, so now that we've got Show Advanced Tools selected, we're gonna slide iMovie over a little bit, and we're just gonna drop it on top. Now, you're gonna get this little cool, little snazzy little transparent like menu and I'm gonna select picture in picture picture in pictures up now in my case I want this to last the whole video so you can either double click it and select the length and you could also add a border but you don't want to do that um, but you could make a effect when it comes in since this clip is really short I'm just gonna drag it out alright so I pulled it all out and basically, we've got the Macified. Ah, click it. And this is kind of bright, so you could go back in and make uh, technically a new one. Or you could just leave it how it is. Um, and basically, you can make it super large, like that. You can make it super small, like that. And you can put it on the top there, anywhere you want. It's all up to you, because you are the viewer. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching! And, um, so I hope next we didn't do the Push an iMovie to its full extent. Here we showed you how to do some really cool stuff in iMovie you never thought you'd be able to do. Anyways, I'll see you next time and...